So welcome back my friends to another Fallout 4 video and today we have quite a big guide for you guys. I'm going to be showing you where you can find all 10 hidden copies as well how you can get your hands on the Nuka Nuka Launcher Edition uh, for the Fat Man which is absolutely insane as well get a very unique Nuka World jumpsuit and uh, before we do begin I do want to mention there are spoilers up ahead for the Sierra Petra Vita quest known as Cappy in a Haystack so quick warning there in terms of spoilers but Aside from that, let's get into how you actually get all this stuff. Now, the Nuka Nuka Launcher as well as the Nuka World Jumpsuit are both unique quest items for completing the Cappy in a Haystack quest line. And this begins when you first speak to Sierra Petra Vita. You'll first meet her in the Nuka Town USA roaming around just outside of the Nuka Cade. And upon speaking to her after a while, she will then give you this quest, which is to basically find all 10 of the hidden cappies. Now, there's a bit of a trick to this. The hidden cappies do actually show up on your map, as you guys can see. However, when you do get closer to them, they will disappear and task you to find the cappy within the specific area, which can throw a lot of people off. However, it will still show you on the map before you enter the cappies area, exactly where the cappy is to the point so you can see here right now uh, when I bring up the map in the Nukatan USA it's going to show me exactly where the cappy is to the point so when I get closer and closer to it you can see it's now disappeared but if we keep going into the same direction of where it uh, first appeared on the map it's still going to bring us to the same location as you can see uh, for the Nukatan USA here is the first hidden cappy so that's sort of how it works it does make it a little bit easier to find them if you just go by the exact location uh, you've seen them in but I'll go ahead and show you guys each of the locations either way so as you all know we just showed you the first one in Nukatan USA uh, going into the galactic zone now you'll find the first one just to the left of the star control center so if you take a left come around the back here just before the gate on the left you will find the first hidden cappy now for the second one, it's just up, I guess, from that location in the spacewalk area. You'll find it on the wall to the left. You can see here, just over there is the space control again. And we're just behind it this time, just elevated a little bit higher. Moving on to the Kitty Kingdom here, you'll find the first one just to the left before you enter the King Cola's castle. Now you'll notice that just to the left is sort of like a tower there. And that essentially at the very top of that tower, you will find the hidden cappy in there. Now for the next one in the Kitty Kingdom, you'll find this inside of the Funhouse. Again, these are generic areas that you'll, you will already be going to anyway when you're exploring. So these are just quick examples of where to find them. Uh, but inside of the Funhouse, in the room with the spinning floor, you will find the hidden cappy behind one of the red doors in there. So just check all the red doors and you'll find it behind one of them. Moving on to Dry Rocket Gorge here, the first one you will find located in the graveyard area uh, behind one of the gravestones. Again, I didn't actually show the map locations here, but as you progress through Dry Rock Gorge, these areas will become known to you. And the next one in Dry Rock Gorge, as you do actually finish up the actual quest for Dry Rock Gorge, you'll end up entering Mad Mulligan's Mine. And if you head through the tunnel, jump off to the left exactly where I do, you will find it on the wall exactly in this location. And that finishes up the two cappies that you can find in Dry Rock Gorge. So now, uh, moving on to the Safari Adventure, the first one you'll find is in the Cappy Treehouse Maze. And if you stick to the right side of the maze consecutively, just keep going through uh, the right side, you'll eventually find a hallway with a cappy at the very end against the wall and uh, for the second cappy location uh, this will be just outside of the primate house you'll find like two bushes and uh, through one of them you can actually walk straight through and uh, you'll find the hidden cappy on one of these statues at the very bottom and for the final cappy location you'll find this one inside of the world of refreshment if you keep heading down and following the river all the way around and then turn left and look behind one of these houses in the same location that i do you will find the hidden cappy there once you've found all 10 of the hidden cappies, again, I do apologize for not bringing up the exact map markers uh, for each of these. But again, you know, as you do progress through the areas, you'll get a better understanding of, you know, where everything is. And it should be easy enough to find the cappies uh, going off the locations in the video. But either way, once you have found all 10 of the cappies, you can then head back to Sierra Petra Vita. She'll be standing outside of Brad Burton's office and she'll ask you to input the codes that you found from the 10 hidden copies. Upon doing so, it will then unlock Brad Burton's office, which you'll need to enter inside. 
Once you've entered, head up these stairs and just behind the Nuka Cola machine, you will find a hidden button. Pressing that hidden button will actually open up a secret bookcase with an elevator behind it, which you'll need to go down. Upon going down the elevator, you'll find yourself in a bit of a hidden vault, I guess you could say. And at the very end of the vault, you will meet John Bradburton himself, the creator of Nuka Cola, which is just absolutely crazy now i'm not going to go into too much specifics of what he states to you and stuff like that uh, but upon speaking to him and sierra they'll basically come to a conclusion where john bradburn wants to die he wants you to shut off his power and uh, upon doing so he will then open his vault which is exactly where you will find the nuka nuke launcher however sierra doesn't want him to die sierra is like i will basically stay down here with you i'll keep you company and stuff like that so you have two choices here one is to side with sierra and the other one is to turn off the power and kill Brad Burton. Now, if you side with Sierra, she will give you the Nuka World jumpsuit. But what you can do is you can side with Sierra, get the Nuka World jumpsuit. Then after you've got the jumpsuit, go ahead and shut down the power. And that's essentially how you will get uh, both of the quest rewards for doing this. So uh, once you've done that, you know, once you've got the jumpsuit, go ahead and shut down the power. Uh, that will then open up the vault. And to the left inside of the vault, there is exactly where you will find the Nuka Nuke launcher. Additionally to this, you'll also find some Nuka Nukes ready there on the table, some Nuka Cola bottles as well, and also the schematics for Nuka Cola and also Nuka Nuke schematics as well. And that's essentially what you'll need to pick up uh, to be able to make the ammo for the Nuka Nuke launcher in general. And that, my friends, is how you get the Nuka Nuka Launcher as well as the schematics and also the jumpsuit at the exact same time. The Nuka Nuka Launcher in general is great. It's a lot better and a lot more powerful than the general Fat Man Launcher. And it is definitely one I suggest you guys pick up. So, as always, hope you did enjoy this video today or did find it helpful. If you did, be sure to leave a like down below, guys. Your support, of course, is always greatly appreciated on the channel. Subscribe if you guys are new around for videos similar to this. And I'll catch you guys next time with a brand new video. Peace out.